Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Once more, it has pleased God again for us to gather here again and for me to record this word. And this prophetic title is talking about the Lord has sent me to warn you. Fight to death. The Lord has sent me to warn you that you must fight because someone has said all this concerning you. You must fight. Fight, fight until the end. Fight until the end. The reason why some of us are suffering today is because our fathers were afraid to fight on battles. The reason why some of us are passing through pain today is because our parents were afraid to fight on battles. Not every battle we escape from them. There are battles I will tell you as a man of God to let it go. And there are battles I will tell you as a man of God to fight. Because the battles you run away, those battles will be there. If you die without fighting the battles, if your children does not fight the battle, the battle will still be there to stop your, your generations. So the reason why God has asked you to fight, fight is because you are the only one now and if you do not fight this battle, no one will be there to fight it for you. Have you been in that position in life whereby you look in front and behind, there's nobody to stand there for you? I'm a young boy, but God has helped me. And I'm that type of a young boy that at, at a very small age, I've been on my own. I was growing alone. I've always lived alone. I've always struggled alone. So I have the grace of overcoming some, some physical battles alone. There are a lot of things that whenever people, people can misinterpret me in some things not knowing that that is my way, the way I grew up. I never grew up with an elder brother or an elder sister that could be telling me, don't do this, don't do this. I've always learned to fight my battles. The battles that are above me, I've always learned to, to let them go. And I fought some battle until the battle brought me down. And some battle, I fought the battle until I got the victory. As a man, there are some battles you don't need to let it go. I once stood the gap to fight a battle that almost took my life. But that was an experience to mold me up to become a warrior. Praise Master Jesus. When we look in the Bible, in the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 16, the Bible is talking about the young boy, David. The Bible said David fought against the lion. One thing about battle. There are some battles that before you fight, you must make up your mind like, like Esther. If I perish, I perish. I'm going to fight this battle. David fought against the lion. It takes a man of courage. It takes a man of influence. It takes a, it takes a man that is ready to die to go after a lion. It takes a man of courage to go after a bear. Against something, an animal that comes to attack the sheep under your command. There are some of us here. The battles in our family, we have been silent. We must fight. Don't say, I am tired. Oh, I am give up. Giving up should be an error. The Bible said David fought more than 60 battles. He never lost any. Because losing one of the battles, David, you cannot afford to lose any of your battles. When, when your God, your, remi your, your Redeemer is there to, to empower you, you cannot afford to lose any battle. David said, I'm fighting. I'm fighting to the last drop of my, of my life. I'm not losing any battle. David fought. David fought. David fought. Where are you watching me from? What is that battle now that is going on in your life that you feel as if you want to give up? Is it, is it that covenant? Is it that poverty? Is it the sickness? Is it the addiction? You just say, I'm giving up. 
giving up is an error. Fight. The reason why the Lord gave me this word to record is because there is a battle you are going through right now, which this battle is against you and someone. This is a battle line that has been drawn by another person. I'm seeing someone telling you to your face and say, I will see how you will rise. Um, I saw someone speaking this word to your face and say, I curse you. I'm seeing someone telling you, I was the one, I was the one, I did this, I did, I curse you, you'll never be blessed. One thing for sure, the blessings of God is not the blessings of man. Because when a man lifts you up, a man can bring you down. Whenever a man places you somewhere, it's temporary. But when God lifts you up, it's everlasting. Let nobody deceive you. A blessed man is a blessed man. Let no man curse whom God has blessed. When God lifts you up, nobody can bring you down. You, you'll be there forever. God is the only one that can lift and bring you down. When God lifts you up, anybody trying to bring you down is at their risks. So the reason why the Lord gave me this particular prophetic word is because a battle line has been drawn. Somebody has straightened your life. Somebody has given you warning. Maybe because they sponsored you to school. Maybe because they helped you. They were expecting you to become slave on, uh, under them forever. Maybe they did something for you. They were expecting you to become something else. Child of God, listen to me. I've come to speak to you. The Lord has sent me to tell you that fight. Fight until the end. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Fight until the end. Fight until the end. Fight until the end. Fight until the end. When David heard that there was a man terrorizing the nation, Israel, David had the brother saying, this man has humiliated the army of Israel. David said, Aka, when you hear that there is someone threatening the life of your family member, of your parents, your sisters, that there is a man, ah, you must hit your hands on your chest as David and say, who is this man? When the God that watch over Israel is alive, who is this man to disgrace the army of Israel? David said, no. If their heart were not with God, I am going there. This army were, were well trained than David. This army had weapons than David. What, what differentiated David between them was that the hand of God was upon David. Not that David was strong. Child of God, no matter how powerful your enemy thinks that they, are, uh, they might be. Listen to me. Just your word of prayer. Just your word of intercessory. Just your word. Just a one day, two days, standing at the gap of prayers is a, is, is a weapon in the camp of the enemy. I pray for somebody that fight. Do not be afraid. You will not die. Stand the gap and intervene. Stand the gap and pray for your family. Stand the gap and take away that, that situation. For in Jesus' name, amen.